right, and so the next question is um, going from five to six. You're converting an enol ether to an enone by hydrolysis and dehydration. Write a mechanism. So it's under acidic conditions. So the first step is going to be protonating here. Alright, so then you'll get something that looks like this. And then, so you have some sort of weak nucleophile. It's going to come in and take that away. Right, so, that's going to be like water or something. Alright, so I already I already dealt so the mechanism from seven to eight, I already dealt with this um, in the previous video is that you're generating an enolate at this position and then that's going to undergo nucleophilic acyl substitution with this molecule right here. And then once you get that, what is drawn in eight is that you have the enol form of this nucleophilic acyl substitution product. Alright, and so part E is this conjugate addition. So again, going from here, the important thing to see here is that this is your nucleophile that is undergoing conjugate addition to this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl which, or this ethyl vinyl ketone. And then the formalized name for this I don't think I spent a lot of time on it, but it's a Michael addition, which is a good thing to know if this is if you're gonna do um, this for your career. Type of reaction from nine to ten. It's an alcohol condensation. We already talked about that. Right, and then so um, I think I already dealt with part G and the discussion is that this is a dihydroxylation of this position using osmium tetroxide. Um, and so we talked about dihydroxylation here and then we are forming this ketal protecting group here. start a new video now.